by great times eight grandfather as George II, like honey in Waitrose or indeed British sherry. I'm the produce of the more than one country. Russian, Lithuanian, Napoleon, Hitler, Germans, French, English, loads of English, not much Scottish or Welsh as far as I know. Wales, England. I mean, Wales, Britain. Wales, Britain. Britain, I think you want to be <laughs> yeah, very careful. Yeah, Wales, Britain. Yeah. Um. Uh, ooh, our ancestors are posh, kind of French, tough type characters. My mother's like Jewish guys. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And then finally, my grandfather's father, who is a country. And so very, very important this morning. documents here. My brothers and sisters and I grew up with as children. King George II, a Great Britain Ireland. He is my great, great, He's your great, 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 great grandfather. Eight times, yes. In order to have a single political culture, you need to have a single person to whom people will all pay respect. And over the next few months, I will be working with them on crunching the numbers and building the policies so that over uh, the, by, by the time the next election comes in uh, by the time the election rather not the next election though, that's gonna, we never know when that will come but by the time the election for London mayor comes we will have a winning manifesto that is based on I had a great time riding the Boris bike today. You enjoyed the Boris I, bike? I, I, I went uh, everywhere I go around the world, always ride for an hour to two hours a bike. Look Have you those. ever wrestled someone on a cable car? No. Uh, no. Not on the cable car. They're very what proportionate of their profit should be, should, be, should be given back to society then. Or bicycles for your skiing, Depends that sort you, of thing? You, you approve of the banks giving money for bicycles? What I'm getting at is what how many getting? bicycles? Well, we've already got 6,000, so, you know. 6,000 bicycles. Something so like 6,000 bikes would discharge Barclays' obligations to society, would it? Of course that's right. What I'm saying is, by shrinking financial services or attacking bankers, I don't think that you're necessarily going to boost other parts of the UK economy. And, and that is I'm true. just wondering but why I'm you're sort of acting as their glove puppet. I'm not. I'm not. There's I think, no evidence. I think, I think they should. There's I think no they evidence. Should. You don't know how much of their money they spend on public projects. I mean, where? Well, I, why are you such an advocate? I'm not. I'm not a banker. I'm not even, you know, I, 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 no, I, you're their I, spokesman. In these tough times, when we hear so many criticisms of bankers, can I thank Nat West? Yeah. Yeah. Nat West. Well done, Nat West, for stumping up for all this. Yeah. Yeah. Stumping up's the right word. I'm and I don't know about I don't know about <laughs> I, I congratulate Nat West and bankers in general. How can cutting fire stations, cutting fire engines, cutting firefighters posts not be a reduction in fire cover? Because we're improving fire cover, <laughs> as I've said, as I've said several times. It's you not lie. about you lied to the people of London in your own. Oh, get stuck. <laughs> How can we? How can I help? Um, I was wondering if you could keep our fire station open. The nine-year-old girl would like her fire uh, station. Well, kept. I understand, and you can't have a more, a more, a more sort of heartbreaking plea than that, can you? But uh, we've got to look at uh, the steps we can take that will continue to make London safer from fire, and to well, she do feel that very with safe. it. Well, I think she should be. 
a lumbering machine that moves at a, a snail's pace and actually, if used at full force, but, is actually emptied within five minutes. This is not the tool to but, catch breakaway no, they, they are when they... Why this isn't the thin edge of the wedge between crossing that line of policing by consent and policing by fear. Dispatches has been investigating how Britain's pro-Israel lobby exercises its influence and financial muscle today in Westminster, and how critics of Israel's foreign policy in the press get branded as anti-Semitic. But what about the BBC? On the record, BBC executives tell us they've always reported Israel and Palestine without bias. Off the record, former executives and programme makers have told us they've always been aware of pressure from top management over Middle East coverage. There's people who, who are very strongly supportive of Israel, yes. And you know, the Conservative Friends of Israel, the Labour Friends of Israel are all part of that. Mm. Yes, there is a pro-Israeli lobby and it's active in trying to define the debate in order to limit the options that British politicians can choose to options which would be acceptable to that lobby. So how does the lobby work? Money plays a big part. Millions of pounds in donations from businessmen and others into the bank accounts of politicians and political parties. The Conservative Friends of Israel is one of Westminster's most active lobbying groups. It claims as its members 80% of all Conservative members of Parliament. On the 15th of April, the Conservative Friends of Israel took the Tory mayoral candidate, Boris Johnson, on a tour of North London, campaigning, meeting locals and visiting businesses. He told hundreds of people that came out to see him why he's the best choice for mayor. Um, and you, you know, and there are no about, circumstances I, I, under which you would allow your name to go forward to become an MP while you are mayor of London. No, no, that would be uh, wrong. Um, as I well, say, why don't I you think... say, no, I couldn't. I couldn't do both. Well, I, I did do both, by the way, for a, for a while. Um, hysterical. You could end it all just nothing. by saying what you know to be true. What that I don't want to. That you want well, to that, be prime minister. Look, um, what what I want is to. Um, would you like to be prime minister? I think it's a very tough job being prime minister. Very tough job. I mean, obviously, if the, if the ball came loose from the back of a scrum, um, which it won't. Might or, or of course it would be. It'd be a great, great thing to have a crack at. Boris! <laughs> you said you would think about the Prime Ministership if the ball came loose from the scrum. Are you still bound the in, ball, in the scrum? The ball... Shall I tell you where the ball is now? Yeah, do. OK. And tell us the what ball, position I'll you're you, playing. I'm, 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 I'm somewhere in the, I mean, it's somewhere in the, the, the front, forwards. Uh, the ball's at our feet. We are, we are heading. We're going for a pushover try. Why couldn't you think about being prime minister? You could if you wanted to. Well, I suppose I, I could. I mean, as you've already pointed out, I could be president of the United States. On, yeah. Well, on, I guess. You know, <laughs> you know there's, there's, there's no, you know, te technically speaking. Would you like to be prime minister? Well, I would like to be the lead singer of an of a international rock group. I mean, that, that was my aim. Or, 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 or gu guitarist. I would love to have been a world-famous painter or indeed a composer. For me, be Three Little Birds. Three Little Birds? Oh, three Little Birds, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Did you watch your documentary last night, Mr. Mayor? Smile at the rising sun. <laughs> three Little Birds on my doorstep. Singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true. Singing, this is my message for you. Don't you worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. That's what I want to Very good. You could have been a pop star. You could have been a pop star. When we see senior banking figures, perhaps in charge of banks owned by the taxpayer, receiving millions and millions of pounds in bonuses, yeah. 
What we should do is just sort of do a Boris. We should just sit there, let the steam come off our head, but live with it. You're talking about a sort of resentment of the super rich. Yes. And, uh, yes. Um, there are many, many things that I would like to have done or, or to be, na- be able to do. Uh, would you like to be Prime Minister? It, as I've said before, you know, it might be that I wanted to have a, a career in writing See, romantic fiction, for instance, that is, under the... Under the you that know, is possible, I suppose. Why not? Rosie, you know, or you Rosie see, I mean, M. Banks or some such pseudonym. I was trying to think of a way of bringing in my book. <laughs> <laughs> What's your book called, Bob? Well, well uh, since you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Don't you, look at it. Even, yeah, you couldn't even have a copy. No, I didn't want a copy. I just wanted to have a <laughs> Very big print, isn't it? It's it's tremendous. Can I just say, genuinely, I've turned to a page, it said, as soon as I see Bertha's rear end backing down towards me... (laughs) 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 Never mind, you must listen. I don't want you to spoil it. (laughs) I don't want you to spoil it. This has been my first time in Sicily. I I don't want you to... (laughs) I don't want you to spoil it used to the, the local alcohol. The audience will want to find out about Bertha in their own good time. And I don't think, I don't think it would be Advanced right... Advanced upon me are the towering bay buttocks of the I, biggest I, horse so I've that, ever seen. <laughs> in a daze, I mount the right. stool. Okay. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell Thank you, you what, well. It looks a bit classy on the outside. Thank Nothing you. but Thank rancorous you. porn inside. Yeah. <laughs> Your friend, Darius Guppy, asks you to supply the address of a journalist so that he can have him physically assaulted. The words beaten up and broken ribs are said to you. And you, having heard that, you tell your friend, Darius Guppy, you will supply the address. What does that say about you, Boris Johnson? Aren't you, in fact, making up quotes, lying to your party leader, Wanting to be part well, of uh, someone being physically assaulted, you're a nasty piece of work, aren't you? Well, I, you know, I put the boot in. I don't know the, the how much a pint of milk costs. They say what? Does it bother you that the Treasury clearly regards you as an eccentric irrelevance? Uh, I'm not certain that that is what the Treasury think. I think if, well, you, if, if they you didn't at... think that, they'd have acted on your advice, wouldn't they? Well, if people can't make fun of politicians. What has gone wrong with you're a dithering, the, the BBC... incoherent, and self-interested well, idiot? Uh, do... do we need decking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, some people think I need decking. <laughs> uh, I think it is perfectly legitimate for people to satirise politicians, and, and you know, there, there you go. I think my chances of leading the Conservative Party are slightly less good than your chances, <laughs> Jeremy. <Jeremy's saying. laughs> That's enough. My great times eight grandfather is George II. You are, in fact, related to all. European royal houses there are. To the Romanovs, you're related to the Swedish royal family, yeah. the Dutch royal family, the Prussians, the Hohenzollerns, all yes. of them. But there's a kind of kink in the whole in the whole thing when with the with the element of illegitimacy there. Yes. That's the unfortunate element yes. there. You you are a genetic relative, but not in any legal or dynastic sense. I think we'd have to I think the because the lawyers take a very dim view nowadays of people who, you know, discriminate against illegitimate children. Well, I wish you luck. No, it's a big issue. And if you ever want to <laughs> sublet any of this place, you know, <laughs> let me know. There you go. How amazing. Well, you've got to get this on the air. Come on. This is the most important thing. Stuff Donovan is f- <laughs> I understand. <laughs>